CIA took a very practical approach to diversity, not a legislative approach. Nobody tried to come in and, and place policies on the importance of having people of color and uh, people of different ages and people of different genders. It was a very practical need. You need, you can't send a male of any skin color to infiltrate a female Muslim society. You can't. You have to have females. Even better if you have females who are also Muslim, who are also Arabic speakers, who are familiar with the region. Um, you know, Yale puts out a lot of good quality people, but it's hard to find that from an Ivy League university. Sometimes you need to look somewhere else. And even now, CIA is looking at uh, people who don't even have formal degrees. I mean, there's all sorts of opportunity that is pushed at what we call the, the pace of operations, what's required to keep Americans safe, because that's the priority. That's the, the, the priority for CIA is national security primacy. Andrew, I feel it's really important before we really delve into the conversation. There's people who, of course, are aware of the CIA, but there's people who might not be aware of what exactly the CIA does. And there's probably a whole lot of conspiracy as well. That's Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of conspiracy that is molded in with that. So let's just talk about what does the CIA do? And let's explode some myths, which people will definitely listen to. No, that's a great, that's a very fair point, right? So CIA does what's known as human intelligence, or in our world, human. Now, intelligence is a very broad sweeping term, and there's multiple subcategories inside that. There's measurements intelligence, signals intelligence, uh, imagery intelligence. So there's multiple disciplines inside the intelligence field. One of those disciplines is called human intelligence, which is the process of extracting secrets from a human being rather than from a radio or from a picture or from something else, right? So CIA, the Central Intelligence Agency, has two purposes. One is it's the primary human intelligence uh, agency in the United States. But then second, it is also the primary uh, analytical resource that feeds the executive branch, which is really just the executive office or the office of the president. So all the intelligence agencies in the IC, intelligence community, all the intelligence agencies feed their raw analysis to CIA, who creates a finished analytical product called the President's Daily Brief that gets briefed to the president every day. 